Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel here at Lone Oak. So we are at late spring, we are on the last day of the planting season. So we need to get something into the ground. I'm not gonna use this one. Uh, I am gonna have to, you know, bum, 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 maybe I should sell this one because now I have a decent cedar. I'm gonna get myself a planter and I'm gonna use one which I haven't used before. And for those of you who did not. Uh, see my last episode uh, let's jump into here maybe yeah I mowed up all this field here it was drying potential but it never went into hay I tried to ted it then it went from dark green to light green but not hay on this field down here when I cut this it popped up like light green at the beginning I tried to ted it it did not turn into hay that's some old hay by the way uh, I waited almost a whole day and then of course it started to rain so now I'm in my last day of planting season and I plow these two together so now I'm gonna just plant cultivate over the grasser I have enough here this can just lay on the ground I think and hopefully it will dry into hay so I got myself some new cultivators this is a set that I haven't used before for those of you who also haven't used them before uh, what I liked about them were the width of them because you see the in-game one if you go for 8 meter it requires 400 horsepower these ones this is a 10 meter cultivator it requires 200 horsepower and this one on the front 140 so yeah in theory 340 maybe so I got the vent over at that field uh, fertilizing because the planter I'm gonna buy or lease uh, is not a fertilizer it's only a cedar and it doesn't cultivate so I need to cultivate here I need to prepare with fertilizer there and then we can go ahead and do some planting Whoa. so if we look on the schedule you see here we are in mid day 3 of spring so I'm on the last day of putting sunflowers in and they require 7 degrees in the ground and now we have 7 degrees so I need to rush a little bit I think to get this finish so how does this work is it only plug and play uh, lower cultivator Back one, lower. There we go. Hopefully, it will cultivate over the grass here. Or do I need to plow it? No, it's working. Nice. And it's pretty fast, also 22 kilometers an hour. And my trees are still <laughs> not growing, but anyway, I'll give them 
three or four years more, and then if not, I'm just gonna. I don't know, use the T Rex on them or something. Oh, it doesn't take everything. That's the front one that skips a little bit. Maybe I'm going too fast. Let's put on the cruise control and let's set it to maybe 18 or something. 16. Yeah. That's a decent cultivating speed. And then everything is 100%. So I'll see you, I guess, when I'm finished with this. Uh, I have also some updates. I did some, well, we can take it straight away. <laughs> I did some uh, uh, modding today on my PC. I did watch some videos on how to modify mods. So I did the mini bud. Or I think it's called the TM17. I uh, modded it so now on the PC game I have uh, the TM17 tractor has 300 horsepower. It has a speed of 60 kilometers an hour, so not crazy, but you know 300 horsepower for that tractor. I think it's within reason with those big fat lizard tired and yeah it worked really good and then I took what and then I also took uh, a trailer uh, a normal agroliner trailer a 20,000 liter and I modded it to be a 40,000 liter that also worked pretty good. I also tried a crazy thing with molding it to a 250,000 liter. Uh, but then <laughs> it just got too heavy. Uh, I think you can also tweet, twitch that a little bit. So I, these cultivators are not doing what it's supposed to do. Anywho. Yeah, so I know there is uh, a code or something you can put in so you can fix the weight. So if you can mod a trailer to 1 million liter and it feels just as it's pulling 10,000 liter. But that's the next step, I think. But it's really cool. I've set up a test map on Bucks County. I also modded one tractor, a Massey Ferguson, an old style Massey Ferguson tractor. It was 120 horsepower and I modded it to a 250 horsepower and a little bit faster. So that's also pretty nice. I would really love to have that in this game. But I guess there are some rules and regulations that you cannot just take a tractor and mod it and uh, put it into giant software I guess anywho I'll <laughs> crack on here and we'll see you a little bit later So, 
I'm finished cultivating and as you see I put a worker on the fertilizer so that should be good to go and the other field is finished fertilized so now I need to get myself the planter do, do, do. and it's a big one which I said I haven't used before this one I've used before the Great Plains 4025 but this one the Great Plains 20 425 is 18 meter I'm always choosing three point connection easier to turn it's not a cultivator or a fertilizer it's just a cedar but it's 18 meters 280 horsepower required let's get that back to the farm get it delivered as I see, uh, like so and there's some other equipment here which I haven't bought I haven't leased this is a contract work I think this is the first time I'm doing a cultivating contract the reason for that is that uh, yeah, well, usually I do um, fertilizer contracts. Uh, as you see here, I've done missions complete 29 contracts. They have all been fertilizer contracts. But now I've taken on a cultivating contract. And uh, it's not because of the money. Uh, it doesn't pay that much. I think it is about yeah, 7,000. But the reason why I'm doing a cultivating uh, contract is I heard a small bird say that uh, yes, it's good, very good to do contracts in seasons, but it's more important to do. Uh, more uh, what should I say different kind of contracts for prepping the fields because I saw in the last season I did not get any harvesting contracts at all and it does matter if you have been prepping the fields on a contract like this so this field here 49 which is just beside my field I have fertilized it earlier this year and now I'm cultivating it so I will expect to get a harvesting contract on this one which is pretty big which will give decent amount of money but also some bonus crops I think so this is nice and square I can just do maybe one headland here by the famous lone oak tree over there and then I should be good, good to go with worker and then we can do some planting on our fields I don't know if this is true that you it helps out if you do contract work for getting harvesting contract work but who knows maybe you know if you know please uh, leave a comment on uh, what you know helper age has completed the task okay that's the fertilizer so I'll see you when we start to plant I guess I am a little bit afraid that the other helper is crashed down into the river they usually do that by that field you know what let's just do like so now I want to take it all here whoa
so let's do some sunflowers let's just double check seven degrees I'm in the planting window it is white it doesn't matter if it's gonna start rain I'm good to go let's change it to sunflowers there we go and let's rock and roll with 18 meter planter and I don't know what's gonna have happen with my grass but yeah we'll see we are going into summer season so hopefully it will dry by itself oh this is a big one I should have the horsepower for it there we go Lined up sunflower, turn it on, lower, cruise control, bam, and there we go. So I have been taking on another cultivating contract and see if it helps when I come to harvesting season. Hopefully it will. So also on this contract I just use the local farmers equipment and it's a Ah, you see it's even worn down on the paint job. Whoa! Okay, I didn't notice that. Look at the uh, condition on the tractor. It's all the way at the bottom. Oh, that's... You don't see that outside season. That the equipment itself, it's... <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, really worn out. But anyway, I don't expect the farmer that, uh, well, the f I guess the farmer doesn't ex expect that I am supposed to fix it, to repair it. It's still doing 11, 12 kilometers an hour, and this is a pretty flat field, so. I think maybe I'll just put a worker on it straight away there we go and then we need to do I have planted my other field so now it's away on this field that I plowed together 
and I didn't manage to fertilize in the area you can see on the back there there is one area that didn't want to have fertilizer but anywho oh So yeah, I am. Oh, there we go. Crash counter one plus one or something. <laughs> okay, all the way back. Uh, I really enjoy both playing this map and the other map on South Brazilian map. Uh, the South Brazilian map is pretty new and different to all the other maps I've played on. Both the you know the landscape and the textures and yeah new crop types. But this one also I really like. It's a big change from Six Ashes, which I played on for well almost 20 episodes. I haven't deleted it, I still have it. Uh, it is taking up some megabyte space on my PS4, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna delete it yet, still. I did a whole lot of work there, and it's a shame just to delete it. Maybe I could get. An external hard disk. Is it possible to save it on that? I don't know. I don't know. So tomorrow we are coming into summer season. Uh, last summer season I did mostly fertilize my fields into the last stage and then I took care of my animals and I waited and I fast forwarded I did some contract work uh, but yeah I think also this summer will be the same I guess there are let's see if we can pop in the menu you see the first two day of summer is need or planting or harvesting season so then I guess the farmers are tidying up their farm and repairing the equipment, preparing the equipment for harvesting season. I might buy another harvester. Uh, I am getting really high on my slot count. I have over a thousand now out of 12.99. So if I'm going to buy another harvester, I have to buy uh, the same which I have, because that then it's only charging you one or two slots, I think. What I need to do is to get one more big tractor. Uh, because now I only have one, this one, 342 horsepower. And I got the farm tractor, the Fent. But uh, if I'm gonna have two harvesters and maybe two big, one big planter and one big seeder, I need to have two big tractors. I am gonna expand. I am gonna buy new fields. So yeah, maybe I can ask you guys, what's your favorite big tractor? Or large tractor. There are so, so many different ones. Uh, I like the big class, the, both the class 3000 and the class 5000. Uh, a brand that I haven't used that much is actually Case. I don't know why, but I, I don't like the in-game ones I might go and have a look for a modded case 
there are also some really nice John Deere now. The uh, what's it called? The seven eight RX EU and US version, which I used on six sashes. The seven R which were really nice. I really like that one. I might the, the the package is pretty high on the megabyte size. I think the whole package is around 70 or 80 megabyte. But you get a whole lot of nice tractors. I also haven't used the biggest uh, Fent tractor. I know there is a Fent a thousand or a thousand or fifty or something. I haven't used that one. I don't like the uh, the tracked one with uh, which are mullers. Yeah, I don't like them. There are one. The big case, uh, case quad track 620 or something. That's nice. That's pretty nice. And also the John Deere with the uh, tracks. I am missing a really big, like uh, four or five hundred horsepower Massey Ferguson. I don't think we have that. Maybe there is a modded one. Or a big Valtra. I know the biggest one I have found is 400 horsepower, which is pretty okay. But I think the next tractor I'm gonna buy uh, will have to have over 500 horsepower, I think, because the fields are getting bigger, the, uh, the cedars, and Cultivators are getting bigger. We are in the US, everything is big, so if I can get a really nice, decent 450 500 horsepower tractor that would last throughout this Let's Play, I think. And this one here, also, I think I still can tune it up uh, some horsepower in the workshop but anywho we'll crack on here I think and we'll see what's gonna happen afterwards I have to think a little bit I think <coughs> we are suddenly in early summer early morning I fed my cows and chickens and I still leave this gate open yeah and it looks like my oat has survived my risky seeding uh, for those who didn't see it I did seed when it was only one degrees in the ground or in the soil and it should be six but uh, it's growing at least there are some patches where it doesn't grow but anyway so now we need to fertilize everything this is so nice and square so I'm just gonna put the worker on it and I'm gonna also oh, it's raining inside also here okay I have another set of fertilizer equipment. Which is ready to go. I always like to put my equipment fully charged, so to speak. And this weather here does not help on my grass turning into hay. So I still need to wait for 
some better weather. There we go. That doesn't look like it's on twenty no forty five meters. Let's see here. No, twenty four. Da, 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 da. There we go, 45 meter. So there we go, and I'll put the helper also in here because I have something else to do. Jump out of there. Uh, yeah, yeah, the grass is really wet now. thirty six percent wet so yeah that doesn't work I were looking at maybe selling my eggs and the weather forecast does not look good for the harvesting season let's have a look uh, if we go here we are on day one oh sorry headset falling off uh yeah we are in day one summer and the harvesting season starts in two days so from day two three four five and six we can harvest looking at the weather forecast we are getting rain from day let's see today it's sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it's raining and snowing. So from day three, one, two, three, uh, yeah, from day one in autumn, it's going to rain and snow for three days. So I need to do my all my harvest in day three in summer whilst my soya beans was it corn? no I can't remember now, no sunflowers sunflowers I could get into problems with harvesting because it's gonna rain all those days or snow so yeah yeah, looking here at my egg pallet, it's starting to get full. And I looked at the egg prices, they are really good now. So now it's a good opportunity to show you who haven't seen the excellent trailer who comes with this mega jumbo pallet. I still have 500 chickens. I were thinking about selling some of them, you know, because they reproduce up to 500 again. But if you see here, I only get $8 per chicken. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave them. So we need to jump in the Roadrunner. Oh, adjust our seat a little bit. Start it up. So, I'm going up to the shop whilst the worker are fertilizing. And I'll see you at the shop. So, where do we find these trailers? These are under animals. We have three different ones, wool, milk and eggs. So this is the one that I want, 19,200 liter. 
there are some really nice colors in, in these ones you can have all the basic games in metallic chrome or satin the chrome one is a little bit glincy for my eyes so I'm gonna go with red satin I think and also the main color since my truck no nope, not chrome satin rim color can I have that also red yeah we we'll do all red so I'm gonna lease it I only need this maybe once a year because the pallet is so big Obviously, some collisions with the flag, sir. <laughs> okay. There we go. So this trailer here should load up pretty quickly and also it loads on from quite a bit of a distance so it should start maybe soon to pick up egg boxes or do I need to put, no oh, there we go it would take that pallet also but and not lose egg boxes I have uh, tension belts so what I can do is this pallet I can carry oh there we go now it's offloading This one you need to like hold up in the air to offload into the trailer. Okay, good to know. And these boxes, I should be able to just throw them in. Oh, there we go. They disappear just by lifting them. This one, maybe throw it. So let's see how much we have sixteen thousand seven hundred ninety five liter. And I think I'm going to the Hollister. Let's see, let's check the prices. Do, do, do. Eggs. Yeah, Hollister 5200 for eggs, but I got the notification that one of my helpers is being blocked by an object, or he's actually run into the river here. So how do I get away from his... oh, is he like so? So I think I'm going to take the headland around the river here, along the river and then put the work on it. They don't like that river or maybe they like it too much. There we go. 
think maybe around here, st straight line, put the worker on it, and then we can go and sell some eggs. And the other worker I put on this field now, someplace. Yeah, there we go. He's fertilizing that field. So, I guess I'll see you at the Hollister where we're gonna sell these eggs. They should go off automatically, I think. Oh, there we go, we get the trigger up. Money is going up. Yeah, and I'm also, now I have well, quit uh, quite a bit money, and I think I'm gonna buy another field. I have been thinking of uh one field ju that just beside of my one of my temper uh, one of my fields so to speak so let's see how much we get for eggs 88000 hue ah uh, that's a lot for eggs but it's been maybe one and a half year in season time so but chickens are really easy to keep maintenance on and feed them so it's I always thought that doing chickens and eggs are a really profitable way of making easy money with cows there's a little bit more hassle and uh, work with them but anywho I see that one of my workers has completed this task I don't think so this one no this one okay are you really finished let's check the map oh there we go he did a good job and the field that I extended or expanded the other day where I took a lot of trees out there I forgot to lime it so but anywho let's get you back to the farm So my fields are fertilized, so now it's time to expand even more. So as I was saying, I really want to buy myself a new field. And the field I've been thinking about is this one, field 28, which is a neighbor field to my 33. It's kind of expensive. It's as you see 405,000 to buy. But I have the money for it. It is full of barley. Uh, it needs a fertilizer. It's only have one stage. For those of you who haven't played season, in seasons you need three fertilizer stages. So uh, there are three different blue colors as you can see. This one is stage one. This one is stage two as you can see. And on this one I have stage three. This is fully fertilized. So this needs 
uh, at least one stage now or two stage at, I mean so let's go ahead and buy it by the way <laughs> buy it for I have 1.2 million yeah why not I think also I can put on my grass field. Let's see. Yes, it's getting darker. Let's just check the map. Yeah, there you see, I sprayed a little bit there. So I can get the last fertilizer stage also on my grass field. But I'll take this one now. Now I own this field also. Pretty nice. Maybe I can get away that jump down here now. Yes, now it's green. So I can smooth this area out. It's terrible to drive down here because it's so jumpy. There we go. So now I have a more decent way down to my field down here so there we go now let's get some oh it didn't change color am I too late oh no okay maybe it has grown into second stage already let's have a look it's changing color. Nice. But it's difficult to see the difference where you actually have fertilized or not, even when you're looking straight above. So then, usually, what I do, I just take it really conservative go on the safe side on the outer boundaries and then occasionally I just go into the map here and I see where I have been and not have been <laughs> so to speak but anyway I think this will be the end of today's episode we are ready I think for the harvesting season uh, the grass field is still a minefield, so to speak. It is growing new grass uh, through the cutted grass I have mowed up. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I can still mow it one more time and get double amount of grass. But drying potential to get it into hay doesn't look that good so I might need to empty my bunker silo for silage put it in the other silo and then uh, make more silage I can do that yeah anyway thank you for watching hit that like button and subscribe button and if you want to subscribe please also hit that notification button so you never miss a future video and you get notified when I have new videos ongoing I am looking at uh, recording a mod video maybe tomorrow Sunday I do weekly mod reviews now. I pick out five, maybe six videos where I, yeah, I test them, I look at them. I don't do daily anymore. Let's check here now. Oh, there we go. So, again, thank you for watching and bye bye.